Internationally, we're seeing an epidemic of mental illness and our existing services aren't coping with this demand. Mental illness has its onset in adolescence and by the age of 17, nearly half of all teenagers will have experienced mental health problems. In Australia, that equates to about 1.5 million adolescents. So, what do we know? We know that in the brain, the frontal lobes are responsible for our ability to judge, plan and strategize, otherwise known as executive functioning. Research has shown impairments in executive functioning are a feature of depression, anxiety, schizophrenia and ADHD. During adolescence, we experience significant changes to the frontal lobes of our brains. This area of the brain is still developing, so we see adolescent behaviours, such as novelty seeking and risk taking. In most cases, these behaviours promote successful adult development and independence. But in some cases, the delayed maturation of the frontal lobes may lead to mental illness. So what if we can step in before mental illness develops and rewire the brain to stop the illness from happening? Brain games focusing on executive functioning have been used with success in people already suffering from a mental illness. But can they be used to prevent the onset of a mental illness? Can they be used to strengthen the frontal lobes in kids at risk for developing a mental illness before it has a chance to cause significant social, educational and occupational harm? My research will focus on teenagers at risk for developing a mental illness. These teenagers will be put into two different groups. The experimental group, which will play brain games focusing on executive functioning, and the control group, which will play brain games focusing on other abilities, so things like general knowledge. The brain game programs for both groups will be internet delivered, making them accessible to anyone, anywhere. We'll follow those kids up for 12 months and see whether those in the experimental group are less likely to develop a mental illness when compared with those in the control group. We're facing a mental health crisis and our youth are suffering. We need scalable, automated and effective prevention strategies that are low cost and deliverable on a large scale. Internet delivered brain games, which are enjoyable and non-invasive, have the potential to fulfil this need. Let's try and put an end to 1.5 million Australian adolescents suffering.